good evening guys um, i'm just doing my um weekly um analysis for um, this coming week and um today is sunday um sunday 6th of january so i'm just doing for this week uh, to sunday um sunday 6th of january 2019 so this is our second week of trading and um, we had a great we had a good week last week we just want to build on to that um let's do a weekly analysis and then we can um, take trades based based on that um, based on the analysis and um, yeah so let's start with euro usd um, and see what is actually happening with euro usd uh, euro usd uh, is on daily so what i'm actually noticing on the euro usd is it's ranging here of pretty much 100 150 pips it's been ranging for some time now and if you can see it to the top just waiting for a breakout and um, <clears throat> it's going to break above 1372 which is this is where the price has been trapped for some time now um, break to the top that would open the door for 180 and um, 118 one, yeah 1.18 and break below would open the door for 111 112 so this is what we have to just watch out for this week is and um, there's a trend line here just from there if the price closes below this trend line my setup is going to be sell let's see there and if i see price closed below my trend line this trend line here anywhere below um 30, 13 yeah 13 40 scrolling close here 1330 below 1330 i will i will be um if the if the price closes don't want to see another rejection here like this so right now it's rejected again so now it's looking more towards the top but what i'm seeing here is this is where the price trap so to go long either you buy it on this trend line and then go long target up to here best target and then you target if it's breakout in place so you buy it on the buy on dip or sell it on run so this is the plan for this week with euro usd until i see break above um break above 1480 say 1480 14, 1500 level i would say 1500 level this is where price is trapped so if i see a break above 15 to uh, 1500 uh, one, one, five, uh, five, then i'll be looking to buy other ways Going to buy on dip. So if I see a price come hit my trend line, reject, I'll be buying. As a stop loss, I'm just put a few pips below and then go for it. And we'll be waiting and see if it breaks above. Because right now, this is what you could expect right now. This could actually do it for a few days before we see a breakout. And um, yeah, we could actually potentially see this happening. Back up, back down, back up back up back down so either could go here straight down straight. this is this is a good level of support by the way so you can come back and hit it there if this happens from there here you go back up again it fails the next move is likely to be there this way so that is why this is why you have to watch out for this this two level here this is where price been um, trap ranging for some time now so it, it is going to break out eventually when we don't know I'm going to work and see. So this is what we need to watch out for. We see a bounce here. If it does, we buy. We target here. And then if the break goes to, um, to the top. So if it bounce, we buy. And if we see break, break out. We'll be waiting patiently. We're not going to jump in if this breakout takes place. We'll wait and see what happens. If it has close a test, on the retest, we're going to sell it. If this, if this what, if if this is what actually happens. Because we don't know which way is going to go. Alternatively, you could do this. Um, Alternatively, you could do this. You could go break out, come back, test. You see, fail. That's when you should be buying it. For 18, I would say around 8. If this level, if this level breaks, this level here, the next move is most likely to see 2118. This is what I'm actually doing. 
and I'm also expecting around that area, I'll be expecting a massive big sell. That's what my prediction for Euro USD. So right now, you need to watch out and um, get all these lines and um, can move it up here. Yeah, so basically, this is what you need to watch out for. Um, this is what I am going to watch out um, and also advise you to do the similar. Um, this is what I need to see. Here, bounce, we'll be buying and targeting there. And here, fails, we'll be targeting there until we see a break either way. So these are these are short term trades, what I'm actually talking about right now to buy it here and sell it there because this is what's been doing it. It's basically just ranging, price squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. So as you can see there, what has been happening, here's a movement of 260 pips. Yeah, a week later, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pretty much a week here, five days. Then what happened? Let's look at the price range. Now back to now to 200. When you go back to next two weeks, two weeks later, I started to come down to 150 or so. Then eventually, eventually it's getting smaller and smaller. And this is what you can expect. This is a pattern is forming. So we, we might take now this whole week, probably price between this, could possibly do all week. We just have to wait patiently and take it. What, um, those levels, be watching out for those levels. The reason for that is, if you are to sell it here, your stock is just there. You can just sell and target here. And if you are to buy, you can buy on this trend line, look for buy, and stop and just sweep it low or here, depends on how much risk you're willing to take. And then target up to there. So we could see this range, the emptying place, and this is where it be, I should be looking to enter, break above 50. So that would be a um, good trade. Uh, we see a break above um, above 15, 115. So I would say that is be a good level to buy. And alternatively, if you want to buy on dip. So my trade plan for you is this, buy on dip, sell it on rally. So I see price rallies up, fails, I'm looking to sell. I see price, um, price dip, Fail, I'll be buying. So that is what I'm going to, to be doing this week. You know, you until this is more like a triangle to me. So if this pattern is respecting the way I'm seeing it, and um, if this happens to be correct, then those are the things I'm going to be doing on you I'll be buying. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be buying on dip, selling a run, and that's my trade plan. For buy, we'll be looking to eight for eighteen after breakout. So we don't know yet which way is going to break out. So guys, you just have to be, be, be patient. So don't jump into trades. And um, yeah, because this, I was saying, you I might not even trade all week. I'll probably be just watching, watching and watching um, until I see exactly if it does what I'm actually seeing and what I'm expecting. If it does, then I will be looking at I'll be taking my trade because I just do not want to jump into, um, when I identified something here, I'll be um, falling, falling um, through with that. Um, yeah. It's slowly, slowly looking to climb up. So there will be a big sell off. Um, I don't know when it's going to happen, but there will be a big sell off. So we're buying on dip and selling on rally. That's the safest option. That's serious to you guys. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, this pattern I identified, and this is what I'm expecting to do. So let's see how that goes. Um, yeah. Okay, let's move on to GBJ. This is another trend. This is another pair I usually trade as well. And um, GBJPY. So what is actually happening with GBJPY? Okay, let's go. Right. Wow. Look at this way. All right. And um, this move. Um. It, it actually it happened over a few minutes. So that is actually six hundred pips drop. That, this doesn't happen every day. Even with the Brexit, it did not took that kind of move within minutes. It did take five or 600 pips move over a whole day. But it yeah. took a move of pretty much um, less than an hour. 40, I think it was the first three, 400 pips was within minutes. And then eventually ended up with 600 pips. So that is one of the reasons, guys, 
the, the need to manage your risk properly. So you don't know these events, it doesn't happen every day, but when it happens, can you imagine if you're taking steward risk, your account will be blown with that move. And this move did blow in a lot of accounts. I know there will be a lot of people out there be crying and a lot of people <laughs> probably be smiling because it went for them. So this is the reason that you cannot take um, crazy risk. And this, this kind of moves, you don't know when it's gonna happen. So you just have to be um, very careful with that. Right, um, so this, what does this indicate? It's indicating it's a reversal. But you cannot just buy it because it's all reversal. Um, this massive week, it can mean this could be because this is the first week of trading. This week could possibly mean it's coming or going all the way down. And um, this could be the indication to say it's going to be a downwards market this year. You don't know because it happens in a, such a time. It could mean that's the last drop of the year we don't know because this is the two things that we need to consider this move took place of the day could potentially means to say market is down for the rest of the day and rest of the year or also it could means this is it market is this is the maximum level it's going to go and then after that it's continue and reverse so we don't know it's going to take a few weeks especially with brexit it's going to take a lot a bit more longer and um, to find out exactly what direction GPJPA is going. But right now, this is pretty much reversal. So let's see if we can identify something uh, for us to take trades. Um, I would need to go to bigger time frame on this one. Let's move all these zigzag lines. Start. Okay. Let's just draw some trend lines. When you start drawing trend lines, that actually it's good practice to have. Uh, it gives you some indication what is actually what can you actually expect, uh, what levels could be taken, what could be potential support resistance levels. So that's one. So that is actually the major trend, um, break out of a major trend here. Yeah. So next one, let's try to see where the top is. This is a potential top. This is a potential top. Okay, so, so there you go. So next move, you could potentially see, testing this trend line. That is weekly, by the way. So, and otherwise, um, on the change of the year, you need to see this move pass. Um, that is easily identified. So, this is what is. Okay, so that is actually the weekly trend line where the red line is. So, we can actually potentially see um, this going and testing this um, very much likely could happen uh, but i will not be jumping into buy i will be waiting for a pullback i would like to see a pullback before i jump in because this is it's too long to get some stop for you to go buy minimum so we obviously cannot go <laughs> with a stop here but the ideal stop is there <laughs> which is 600 pips so you cannot go to so I will be waiting patiently on this one. Um, I might take short term trades with 30, 40, um, 20, 30 pips stop. Um, but overall, I'll be waiting for this one. Um, for one, one more dip. I do believe most likely we're going to see one more one more dip before um, rallies all the way to the top. So that's GPJPY is, is right now. It's a process of reversal, as you can see it there. It's more like a more, it is actually a pin map. And next move is likely to be there. But it's not going to go straight to there. It's going to do a bit of pullback. So if we see an opportunity of pullback, we'll enter, we'll take a buy. And short term, and this is where we'll be looking to sell. I think this is where the big sell is going to come in. 
and if this level holds, I think this is where this is where likely to come back and test this again. So move to the top, and then move to the down. So let's see. Um, also, um, we just have to be careful. Um, end of the month. Um, I'm sure I'm not exactly sure what is actually happening, but there is some Brexit news will be coming. Um, there will be some. Um, I think it's voting going on. So we just have to be careful. But you could just do that before. You could just just do this, then that. So let's see how this plays out next. Um, so um, before this week, next few days. Um. On this, I would say stay buy on dip. Um, target levels it could be up to here first. These are the target levels you should be looking to target. So this is a good potential. This could be the level where price reject. So if you're looking to sell, it will be those levels around 41. You see price reject. You could go with um, with a very tight stop loss and go for short and target around this area. But I will be, I'll be looking to buy this one more on on the on dip. So let's see how this work out um, next few days, and then we'll look for the opportunities. Because I do expect now, after this rejection, now market is likely to be going forty four area. So that would be the. Um, this is what I'm seeing on GBJPY. I'll be looking to buy on dip. So I see a dip take place, then I'll be looking to buy. Um, so that would be my trade plan for GBJPY. Right, guys. Um. And um, there's a few other pairs which I'm not going to go touching it much now. Um, I think we had a good um, URNZD, um, but this one is uh, pretty much um, I'll be waiting for this one to um, trace and then I'll be selling it again. Um, so URNZD, I'll be looking to sell on um, on Granny. Let's see if I can get it. URNZD. So GBJP, I'll be sell, um, buying on dip. Right, I'm not going to make this video too long. Um, obviously, I'm going to. Um, if there's any any other setup I see, um, I'll post it. So I always um, also I would encourage you guys to um, um, subscribe subscribe to my um, YouTube channel because this is where I'm going to upload uh, my videos. So any uploads, um, I, um, especially weekly analysis and stuff like that, and um, most of the videos going to be uploaded into my YouTube. So it'd be best if you um, subscribe and then you will get notification. Um, yeah so that's that guys and um let's make a good week of trading this week just be patient and slowly slowly um we'll get there all right thanks a lot